being in Atlanta, shit, we definitely traveled like <sighs> too much to damn count. So it's like every time we came back from a trip, that was probably like my time I like sit down on the laptop and literally like work. We'd be going out, but it'd be nighttime, so you can work all day. So we'd be sleeping. Everybody be sleeping till like twelve o'clock, bro. We be just party going animals. out to the bars and stuff in Atlanta, or what? Oh, no, nah, we were going to the clubs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My we bad. I'm, I'm at clubs. No, nah, you good. <laughs> use the, I use those kind of, you know. We go way, like but. lounges and then clubs, but shit, it'd be like an all night event, like nine a.m. morning time, going back inside. You were rocking your clothes to the club. Yeah, shit. I mean, being honest, I. I wasn't having enough clothes to do it for real, so I'd be wearing my clothes, like some stuff I probably made, but majority I'd be wearing Richeza. Cause shit, bro, it's just speaking on that like, brand a little bit because we be seeing if you follow if you follow him on Instagram, you see him and Richeza they do a lot together. So like, what's the relationship with him, and how long have you known him? That's my brother for real, bro. I know him since twenty seventeen ish, like twenty seventeen. My first, like, one of my first times being in Atlanta, we had Link because of Montreal. Mm-hmm. They went to college together, and, well, they didn't even go to school together. They just had met through mutual friends, and they became close in that shit. Montreal was Photoshopping, doing all that, so he was helping him, and then, shit, Montreal just, like, this little bro. Huh? Right. Brought me in, and then, shit, the first time we linked, bro, we worked on clothes to, like, 7 a.m., like, Later we did some, I'll never forget that. We did some, like, vans with rhinestones on it, and then we did some jeans. Did you drop any of those pieces that you did that day? Like, Nah, that was all more so him. We was just, like, having fun, just helping. Mm. Like, It wasn't really like a, it was just a party. just Not even like a party, but like a, a work party, I guess you want to call it. And then we had our homie, uh, his homie Rasheed came through and took some pictures and shit. Like, we was literally just all in there working. So what's his influence with your brand and like, did he play a part in your brand like taking off and what it is today? For sure, like, for, for sure, like <laughs> he definitely was like one of the top reasons why. Cause shit, every time I got something, I'm gonna give him something for free. Cause right. he gonna just put it on, wear it, post it, do all that. Like he pro my brand, like just like I promo his brand. Ain't so. nothing like a homeboy to actually support what you're doing. And yeah, just don't wait until you sign it. They just gonna do it. Literally. They want yeah. to see you do better, so especially <laughs> when you got exactly the same type why. of thing going on as you, it's different like that. So. Yeah, and he like big influence on a lot of brands nowadays, like whether they say it or not. Yeah, like seeing them just like copy his stuff in a way. Like some people literally like copy, copy. Some people will take an influence from it. Some people use his like mockups. It's just stuff like from being there, just learning Photoshop and stuff, and just seeing other people and seeing his stuff from 2017 and now, like. I just always pay attention to stuff like that, the little shit. 